Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Sienna Hybrid Limited all-wheel drive. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its 360 degree backup camera. You also have your DVD player as well as your heated steering wheel. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Sienna Hybrid Limited all-wheel drive. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look at the front grille, you're going to see your front facing camera for the 360 degree backup camera along with your parking sensors. Over on the side you have your 18 inch wheels, down facing camera on both sets of mirrors, integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. And you'll find your blind spot monitoring indicator just located on the inside of the mirror. So if you do find yourself when you're driving down a multi-lane road, somebody's following right beside you there, this indicator light will actually light up, just alerting you that there is enough someone right beside you. Now, one of the nice things is I'm going to show you the second row here really uh, quickly here. The nice thing with that is that you do have the power folding uh, rear doors. So if you take a look just down below here, you actually have the kick assist feature as well. So if you just kick underneath the side uh, siding there, it'll actually open up the doors for you automatically. Second row captain seats, third and second row sunshade visor windows. DVD player just located at the very top there just so you can entertain the kids on those long trips. One of the nice things added into the newly redesigned Sienna is that you have this handle that actually comes from the basically the top all the way down to the bottom here, making access for uh, people that have uh, difficulty actually getting into the vehicle a little bit easier. And taking a look down below here, you'll find the close button. So all you have to do is just push on the button once and it will close for you automatically. Now, it does have the jam protection feature, so once the door does sense there's an obstruction in the way, it'll just uh, stop from closing. Now if you want, you can actually close the door from the outside just by pulling on the handle and it will close for you automatically. Now with the kick assist feature, it works with the smart key system, so you want to make sure you have that key fob on you at all times in order to utilize it to its fullest. The color we're going to be taking a look at today is Sunset Bronze and taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your power driver's seat with lumbar support, power tilt telescopic steering wheel along with your automatic high beams heated steering wheel view for the 360 degree backup camera and then on the inside of the driver's side door you have your seat memory controls along with your power folding mirrors, mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, voice recognition, lane departure alert, cruise control and then you have the mode select and seek function. Now it does come with the push button start, so you have to do is switch foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now if we take a closer look just at the multi-informational display, you'll see your digital speedometer with a distance to empty on here. You can also go through the fuel economy and then scroll through and take a look at the driving support, audio, energy monitor, and with that you'll also be able to see your tire pressure monitoring safety system status, all-wheel drive, and then down below you'll find your settings menu with the lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, as well as your rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features as well. Finishing with your messages menu, you also have the exterior temperature gauge as well as a digital clock. Taking a look at the center dash area, if we go inside the menu uh, screen here, you'll find your destination audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features now. With the apps menu, it's part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app, which allows you to stream your maps from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also use the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display as well. And you can check out local fuel prices and the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. Comes with the premium JBL sound system along with the Sirius XM satellite radio. Dual zone climate control settings along with your rear temperature controls located in the center here. As you can see, you do have the heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and your passenger. As you can see, you have a shelf just located down below here where you can place smaller items, your USB, and you'll also find your wireless charging pad as well. 
It's mounted to a automatic transmission with your drive mode and EV mode as well. If you need some additional storage space, there is some located just underneath this armrest area here, along with the power outlet. And then if you take a closer look at the top here, you have the auto dimming rear view mirror, along with the integrated garage door controls. And then you'll also find the additional uh, camera in the mirror here, which makes things a little bit easier for you, especially when uh, people are actually following really close behind you. Now, if you take a closer look at the top here, you'll find the open and close and tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof, sliding doors, power lift gate release, SOS connect. And then taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have that nice uh, set of guiding lines in there, making things a little bit easier for you when you back into a stall. And then you also have the 360 degree view for yourself. Now, when I put this into drive and I hit that view button that's located just right beside your heated steering wheel, it'll show you a nice front end view to, of the vehicle, which makes things a little bit easier for you, especially with underground parking. Now, the auto feature that I just actually pressed on will actually keep that screen on there for anything under 10 kilometers an hour. Anything above that will go back to the previous screen it was on. Now, when I'm in park and I am hit that uh, view button, it'll show you a nice up close 360 degree view and a more aerial view as well. The nice thing with this screen is that you can actually pause the menu just in case you do see an obstruction in your way. And if you want you can also change the color to your own personal preference or to the color you actually got yourself. When you're all finished up all you have to do is push on the view button once more and it will go back to the previous screen you were on. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera and you'll have the additional view from the rear view mirror. And that's where the actual view is coming from. And your rear hatch release will be located in the center. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you do have a 60-40 split for the third row. So in the event that you need additional passengers, it's available to you, but if you need more additional occupants, or cargo space, I should say, it's available for you also. The instructions for folding or unfolding the seats are just located on the back there. You have some additional storage space located on this uh, left-hand side here. And if you need all the space, you can actually fold down the second row for yourself as well. The other nice thing is if you take a look on the right hand side, you'll find the power outlet. And then if you take a look up top, you do have a power adjustable tailgate. So if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds to the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times. And then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times. And when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. As you can see there, it does have the kick assist feature. So if you just kick underneath the rear bumper, it'll close for you automatically. Now, like the power sliding rear doors, this works in conjunction with the smart key system, so you want to make sure you have the key fob on you at all times. An example of this would be if you have the key fob actually inside the vehicle and you actually tried to use the kick assist feature, it won't actually work. You want to make sure you have the key fob on you at all times. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.